I will find Valentine and bring Charlotte back to her family. Why are you confessing now? Who knows what she'll do next? That subject is off limits. You said on the phone the Trinity test results are in? I thought it was time we met. General Hospital latest update. Cody rejects Holly's latest con, and Sasha's biological father is revealed to be Robert. Holly's hidden past shakes up relationships, while Heather's surprise move to Arizona stirs drama. Meanwhile, emotional farewells loom, with Sam's tragic departure set to hit hardest. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital Cody rejects Holly's con, Sasha's bio dad confirmed, Heather's Arizona decision. General Hospital spoilers recap for Saturday, October 26, reveals that Heather Weber, Allie Mills, learned Stephen Weber, Scott Reeves, got out of prison a few months back, so she seemed a little hurt that she was just now finding out. However, Heather was mostly just glad Stephen was there now, especially since she was free to join him for a BLT at Bobby's. Heather had all kinds of grand plans for Stephen to stay in Port Charles, but he insisted she should come back to Sedona with him instead. Stephen had a job he liked there and was able to escape his past in PC. Although Heather wanted to stay near Ace Cassidine, Jay and Joey Clay, Stephen ultimately convinced her that she should come get a fresh start in Arizona with him. While Sam McCall's Kelly Monaco her surgery was happening at General Hospital, Lulu Spencer, Alexa Havens, was prepped for her own procedure. Anna Devane of Fanola Hughes kept Laura Collins, Jeannie Francis, a company, so Laura quizzed her about whether she knew where Valentine Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, was. Although Anna admitted she didn't, she also planned to find out Valentine's location and bring Charlotte Cassidine, Scarlett Fernandez, home. Cyrus Renault, Jeff Kober, interrupted at one point and got Laura to say a prayer with him. Laura was polite enough to Cyrus, but she also pushed him to ask the next time he wanted to arrange a visit. Anna was glad to see that Laura was staying on guard when it came to Cyrus. Meanwhile, Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gron, discussed some cases with Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy, before delivering the news that Heather was a free woman, so Diane was livid over the legal updates. However, Diane wasn't as worried about Holly Sutton, Emma Sams, since she assumed Robert Scorpio's, Tristan Rogers' ex would be pulling another con elsewhere soon. Once Alexis was alone, Anna popped up with questions about Valentine. Although Alexis hadn't heard from him, she vowed to check out the Cassidine holdings and see if Valentine might have accessed them. Back with Stephen, he took Heather to the hospital so that she could say goodbye to Elizabeth. Heather also saw Laura while she was there, so she ran over to her in excitement. In Robert's office, Sasha Gilmore Corbin, Sophia Matson, showed up and saw the WSB's lab results, which confirmed their father-daughter connection. Sasha was in denial a little longer, but she ultimately accepted this must be true, and that meant she had to lose Cody Bell, Josh Kelly. Once Sasha left, Diane showed up and got Robert's shocking confession that Sasha was his daughter. Diane wasn't pleased to learn Holly had a child with Robert and kept it buried all this time. At Crimson, Sasha arrived looking emotional and admitted she'd been lying to Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watrose. Although Sasha previously acted like her mother was deceased, that wasn't true. Once Sasha came clean about Holly Sutton, Emma Sams, being her mom, Nina didn't hold the secret against her. Sasha also explained that she just learned Robert was her bio dad so Nina realized Cody was her cousin. Despite Nina's willingness to offer support, she suspected this visit was really about delaying Sasha's inevitable conversation with Cody, which would only hurt worse the longer Sasha waited. In the Quartermain stables, Holly introduced herself to Cody and suggested they had the Ice Princess in common since they'd both gone after it. Holly also pitched the idea of Cody helping her with a new Mark who had a gambling problem, but he wasn't tempted by the $1 million reward. Cody didn't want to lie anymore and let down the people he cared about, including Sasha. When Sasha arrived and angrily kicked Holly out, Cody could see that they knew each other. Once Holly was gone, Sasha confessed that was her mother and said something was very, very wrong. General Hospital spoilers say Sasha will have to spill some tough revelations to Cody soon enough, so we'll pass along more predictions on the fallout. Today's next update, General Hospital is saying an emotional, Goodbye.
to a host of characters, and the hardest is yet to come. General Hospital lost a few characters this week, with Violet moving to Seattle to be with Finn and Marshall heading out on tour. Stephen returned and is taking his mama Heather away from Port Charles and back to Arizona. Of course, the big one, who is still coming, is Sam. Finally, news broke that we may have seen the last of another long-running character. Sam's Goodbye Tour This week was hard, with Sam spending most of it saying Goodbye to her friends and family. Although Sam didn't know she was saying her final farewells, we, the audience, did. And if you somehow remained spoiler-free about Sam's departure until this week, you probably quickly figured out this surgery wouldn't be ending with a happily ever after for all. I was hoping they'd have ripped the band-aid off, so to speak, on Friday's episode. Instead, they are dragging this story out, which means next week is really going to be a difficult one. I shared last week that sacrificing Sam to save Lulu would make it hard to accept a Dante-Lulu reunion. This week, the closeness of their kids was emphasized a lot, so how will this affect the family they've become? Also, poor Scout will have Drew and Drew alone as a parent. He's too focused on Willow and his campaign to pay attention to her. Sam convincing Lucas to do her surgery was like pouring salt into an open wound. Lucas just returned, and now he will be guilt-ridden over what happens to his sister while under the knife, his knife. Of course, there is speculation that Cyrus plays a part in Sam's death, and of course, General Hospital's own Angel of Death appeared out of nowhere on Friday's episode as the surgeries were happening. The Case of the Kissing Cousins Holly finally told Robert the truth about Sasa, and I have to say he was a lot more level-headed than I expected. On the other hand, Anna said this was the lowest thing she's done and advised her to leave town as to stop hurting Robert and Sasha. At least Holly got a pot meat kettle shot in there, pointing out the double agent kept Robin from Robert. Anna quickly fired back, saying that Robin was five when they met, not a twenty-something. Plus, she has lied to Sasha about her father for her entire life. Maxie made a great point to Sasha, why would Holly lie about this? What angle could she be playing? Robert's flashback to when he and Holly were much younger sent up a flare for me. They were discussing immigration issues and that they had to remain married for two years or until a baby came. A clue, perhaps? Is Holly somehow lying? Again, why she would lie is the issue. She seemed determined to convince Cody to leave the county on a con job. Unfortunately, the DNA tests were in by the end of the week. As Maury Povich would say, Robert, you are the father of Sasha. Why General Hospital saw fit to end Sasha and Cody as a couple makes zero sense to me, as they've become very popular with the viewers. Over the past few months, Sasha and Cody have been the show's bright and happy spot. Other characters say, goodbye. The new writing staff is cleaning the house, as there are a lot of character exits this and next week. The week started with Violet saying, goodbye, to Brooklyn, Chase, and Tracy. No, I wasn't crying, you were. I was not expecting Violet's departure to be so emotional, and as I said in last week's column, hopefully, she'll visit, a lot. Tracy gifting her mother's tea set to Violet and Brooke Lynn pointing out she was never allowed to touch it was a fun farewell. Heck, even Yuri is going to miss Violet. Marshall was the next to be sent off on a four-month tour with Wynton Marsalis and his band. Will he be back? Or have we seen the last of Marshall? Honestly, I'm not sure many viewers will miss Marshall as much as his on-screen family will. Marshall's farewell was also more about breaking the news to the Ashfords in a very public way that Heather Weber was going free. I don't think anyone was surprised when Heather was exonerated, as we've seen this coming for a long time. But bringing her son Stephen back to whisk her away from Port Charles was an unexpected development. I am having difficulty accepting that it was so easy for Stephen to convince Heather to leave Ace behind, who has been her whole world. However, this leaves the door open for future visits from Stephen and Heather. Heather might be going, but Brad still has Portia's number, so we can look forward to Heather's presence looming over Portia's head and potentially being her downfall. Finally, some devastating news, Leslie Charlson may never play Monica again. This breaks my heart, but at the same time, the show can't leave Monica off-screen and sick in her bed forever. Should the character be recast? Should she be written out?
I don't want to see them kill Monica off, not while Charlson is still alive. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.